let's move then to the to the general uh, discussion. I, I I wanted to make a question still to to Marta and Almudena, and and I will come back to you if there is time still. <laughs> thank you, Jorge. Um, to Marta and, and Almudena, so, I would like to you. I would like to ask um, in this uh, objective well-being that they were analyzing whether uh, they say, um, they have any data on uh, on health measures. Like, uh, I don't know, uh, some um, general measures of uh, public health, like whether children, I don't know, they, they are fit, they are uh, obese, they spend too much time uh, on the screens. There is any information uh, on these type of things in your study? Mm. Uh, uh, well, I mean, uh, well, we, da, we don't we don't use uh, health uh, indicators, but uh, we're planning to introduce in the next step to introduce, introduce these indicators. But now I don't uh, any findings, any results because we had we had introduced these indicators. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. I think I think this type of uh, <laughs> uh, workshops are really to stimulate further research also. No, 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 no yes, thank you. But, but, but I, I saw the way you configure the, your analysis, I thought this would be interesting, even if it's not central, to have also some other measures on, on, on the yes, health yes, for the you know, yes. children. Especially because they can be a bit more objective than uh, self-reported, no? Because when, especially children also have more, much more um, the self-reference no, on themselves, what is good or what is bad. But if you have also some external measures about health, you can also maybe make it more comparable. No? What is what yes. is a health life or what is a, the will be? Yes, yes, yes. It is very, very important indicators to to compare about the the, the impact of uh, family policies and the impact of the healthy the the healthy no about. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. It's in the next step, we we planning to introduce these these important indicators. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you so much for, for thank you. you. I will I will be looking forward to to, to know more. <laughs> okay, and then um, I have another question for for Jorge, and and then was uh, about the other side. No, was you're talking about schools who perform better and schools who perform worse regarding regarding this um this climate uh have you able to have you been able to find out more what are the in ingredients of a successful school climate in your analysis what is what the schools do right or do wrong if they don't manage this uh, good school climate mm. that's, no, that's a really good question that's a really good question uh, an insightful one in terms of to identify what can make a difference, right? And, and, and at, at this point, our studies, I think, uh, highlight that significant relationship. Uh, however, uh, when we have done some implementation prevention programs and you have more qualitative insights, I think one really important element uh, that starts to make a difference and it, it is when, when the school community teachers, principals, authorities uh, uh, at first, and then of course the rest, the families, uh, uh, they really uh, uh, assume or they really think that they are in charge to create a positive climate. Because when you usually, in, in what's going on in, in different type of aggressive behavior, such as bullying, for example, uh, some schools uh, tend to identify this is a, as a, uh, this is a clinical problem, an individual problem, you know, that that kid, and he's really uh, having a lot of self-control issues, or he came from a really uh, specific family background that does uh, explain what's going on with his behavior within the school. That's one approach. And when you see that kind of approach of what's going on in the classroom, you usually see more problem behaviors because what they do is to only to approach at the individual level. They try, and, and then they try to make changes only with that student. However, in the other, you know, in the other side of the of the moon, you want to say, and when you see schools, community teachers, that will say, you know what, right? Some students they have more challenging behavior, but also my behavior as a teacher matters. 
Also, my relationship with my, co my colleagues is important. And also, if you take this to another level, is this something important with, for, for your school? The principals, or and you can even move on, you know, and to see we have really good policies in our communities. You know, we have regulations, support, resources. I mean, this is really important or no? When you see that approach in a more contextual level, I think that is starting to make a really significant difference. You know, like have you captured this kind of a more larger effect? I think it's a really good example. We haven't done that study, but when Trump was uh, just elected, uh, uh, and, and I don't know if you saw it, but in the first year, you saw what people started to call the Trump effect by we need to build a wall. I, I live for a while in Michigan up north uh, in the Midwest, and I saw a lot of friends of mine sharing videos for me that kids start to share videos in the classroom with our Hispanic uh, migrant, migrants and to say, build the wall, build the wall. Uh, so uh, one, one, one researcher in, in Virginia, uh, Dewey Cornell, he's really famous in, in school climate literature. He ran a, an analysis in the whole state of Virginia. And he compared school climate measures one year before Trump and one year after Trump was elected. And he had data from all different counties. Uh, I don't know how you call that in Spain, you know, like specific, you know, communities. Uh, 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 and so he were capable to link in those contexts that where Trump supporters all indicator of a school climate went down and violent behavior among students went up. So I think that's really interesting to see in terms of how important are these contextual effects. You know what I mean? So that ingredient for me is to see that this is a this is a, a, an ecological phenomenon at the end of the day. This is not only that it is explained by the students. Uh, relationship with peers are important, so relationship with their families. And in my case, I'm focusing more on what's going on in the school. Teachers are really, really important to make a difference. Sure, I, I, I completely agree with you. It's a central element also, in the, especially in the, in the class management, what is their, also their vision and their approach to, you know, also to, also to uh, reward some punishment, as you put it before, no? This idea that uh, sometimes this contextual, no? This idea that to punish students and put them out as, uh, so they learn the lesson, in the end you end up uh, reinforcing more than than avoiding this behavior what comes to it. No? It's, uh, it's kind of a no? exactly. downward exactly. spiral. And it gets more than just, they have to prove themselves that they are hard enough for the next expulsion and at one point they are out of the system and, and everybody has lost the battle. Okay, very, very, very interesting also. Thank you.